quick tip for you today about how you can get great looking graphics to use in your video productions. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name is Alec and yeah, today I'm going to share with you a little extract from a full tutorial that I did all about how you can take your Ecamm Live setup from zero to a full production setup with uh, graphics and overlays and all that sort of stuff stuff and I'll link to that down below and also in the top corner. It's a four and a half hour tutorial uh, but I just wanted to share this little uh, tip with you so I'm going to cut over to that video now but it's all about stock imagery because there are lots of paid services like I actually do have an Adobe stock license and there's other services like Shutterstock and things like that if you want to get images to use in your productions but this is all about a free service which is called Unsplash and as you'll see it's a great little service and is free to use for your YouTube videos so I think it's worth watching. So what I thought we'd do is we'd start with a base image in the background that we're going to build our overlay up over on the top of. If this isn't making sense don't worry it will do shortly. So what I wanted to do was find an image to use as a background image. Well there is uh, as I say I use Adobe Stock which is something where you pay to have a uh, access to the Adobe stock footage and stock image stock music library um, and uh, there is another service you can use though which is something called unsplash.com I will link to that in the uh, description there are other services like Canva and things like that there's a lot of people talk about Canva for making graphics and overlays but that's a subscription service whereas if you just want the odd image or so um, and I might be wrong on that there might be a free version of Canva now I come to think about it but this is specifically not for creation but just for getting your stock imagery is unsplash.com uh, and there's basically a, a huge number of uh, downloadable images you can just search in whatever you uh, want to search for and so I did just did a search for abstract uh, background uh, because we just want something that's going to feature in the background and I came down here and I thought uh, which ones of these look nice and that one sort of took my fancy <laughs> this one here and so I've downloaded that one already and uh, then we're going to use that as our background now just so that you understand how Unsplash works um, so if I come into here when you click on it you can download it for free and just so that you're aware of the licensing because whenever you are using any sort of content that you've downloaded you can't always just do a search uh, legally do a search on Google grab an image and stick it in your presentation on the, on YouTube some things are obviously licensed and you have to be careful about that specifically with you know high quality graphic images and also with uh, music and uh, incidentally I suppose now might be a good time speaking of music to talk about the music that you've got in your creations and uh, your YouTube videos because uh, if you do have any music, like I featured music at the beginning and, and at the end, then uh, Epidemic Sound would be the place that I'd recommend to go to get that, uh, that music. And you know that they've got a huge library of music there and you can uh, use any of it in your, your videos to put on YouTube, knowing that the, you're not going to get any copyright strikes or anything like that. So coming back to here, uh, and just to be totally clear on the licensing for unsplash.com, uh, if you uh, click on here it tells you the license and as you can see uh, where is it I've got the wrong thing highlighted here so the license is as it says here uh, all photos can be downloaded and used for free uh, for commercial and non-commercial purposes and there's no permission needed though attribution is appreciated but not necessarily required so I've linked to the specific uh, image that I've got from here so that that's in the description so you can go through and uh, yeah if you want any by the same artist for example then you can click on here and you can see who that is Jeremy Bishop on Unsplash thank you very much Jeremy much appreciated uh, and the reason why artists uh, would put their images for free on Unsplash is because they also obviously have a catalogue of other images and if you like their work then presumably you will click through you'll see their other catalogue and then maybe they have other images on uh, maybe paid services like uh, Adobe Stock or Shutterstock or things like that uh, and so it's just a way for them to get their work out there as well and but we benefit from it as well. The, uh, what is not permitted is, as you can see, photos cannot be solved, uh, sold without significant modification and uh, Comp uh, compiling photos from Unsplash to replicate or similar or competing services so we're not allowed to obviously take this image and 
post it on other ones for our own use and things like that for our own, you know, to sell it, basic, tell, sell it on. Well, as I'm doing this as a demonstration and as I'm making all of this content available for free afterwards and uh, as I'm also giving attribution, I think I've passed all of these, uh, these criteria here. So that's all to say, what I'm about to show you is uh, <laughs> totally above board and legal. And that is why I can include this image as well as part of the presentation in the, in the presentation pack. So I think I've covered myself there, don't you? Well, we've hit a bit of a milestone now because now what we've got is we've got the outline of our overlays for our um, main window, for our picture in picture windows and for our side by side shot and for our stream starting soon. And I think that they look quite good, to be honest. It's almost like a graphic designer did them, whereas really it's just little old me <laughs> in Keynote and a free stock image. But all of this sort of background, uh, as I say, you can get that for free from uh, Shutterstock. I hope you found that useful. And if you did, then don't forget to go down and like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you get alerted anytime I make any new content. And also don't forget that all of the uh, icon packs and templates and things like that that I've talked about in these videos are available as a free download from my website. So simply head on over to takeonetech.io and there you'll be able to see at the top of the page, there is a link to the actual full tutorial that this is an extract from, uh, but also just below that, you'll see that there there is a uh, area where you can download that full icon pack and template pack and make it your own. So uh, yes, that's the place to go. And also that's the place to go if you want to contact me as well. That's the easiest place. There's a contact page on that uh, website, but also you'll notice just down in the uh, bottom right hand corner, there's also a little chat box. You can always get in touch with me that way. Incidentally, if you're not already using it, then uh, this whole video has been produced with Ecamm Live and uh, it's the uh, my video editor, uh, my video production environment, should I say, of choice. Uh, certainly better than what I was using before OBS. <coughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, highly recommended. It's certainly made my life a lot easier. And yeah, if you head over to takeonetech.io slash Ecamm, then there you can get a free trial and try it out for yourself and see what all the fuss is about. Well, that's about all for now. But as I said, this is actually an extract from a much larger four and a half hour tutorial that I did, which will take you from zero to a full production uh, setup in Ecamm Live, including obviously all of the overlays and transitions and things like that, and uh, linking it to your stream deck and designing all of your stream deck icons and all of that business everything that you need to get going with your video production and streaming. So uh, I'll link to that video uh, down below as well, or you can just go and find it on the top of my uh, web page as well. But for now, that's all from me. And I'll link to some of the other videos uh, from that tutorial also uh, to the right hand side. And until the next video, have an absolutely wonderful day.